Hello, in this video I will demonstrate how you can still make use of your iDevice even if you have a broken or malfunctioning home button or volume buttons and can't afford a costly repair. You can accomplish this by using an accessibility feature new to iOS 5 called Assistive Touch. You get there by going to the settings and then go to general and accessibility options and on the bottom there is assistive touch and now we turn that on and with it on now you see that icon that appeared on the lower right and it just dimmed uh, you just tap that button and now you can you now you have access to your home button via touchscreen, as well as other features such as gestures and favorites uh, that you can record. So now if I tap the home button on the screen, it's as if I tap the physical home button. Um, this icon can be moved around, so if I don't like it on the lower corner, I can put it here. I can put it in the middle and so forth and it will automatically dim if I don't access it for a moment but it will never disappear completely it will always stay on your screen except when you load certain applications it disappears for a second but comes back um, so now let's say I want to access the task launcher um, using this feature I tap this to activate and I double tap home button and boom there's my task launcher and it goes back to the corner if I don't access it. Tapping it again and let's say I want it to just disappear without activating any of these features I will tap somewhere other than that menu to make it go away. Now let's say I want to load solar walk you'll notice that the icon changes positions because that's the um, view in this application. Now let me go back home again and tap home and I'm back home again. So let's say if your home button was not very responsive or not working at all now you can still use your device without having to spend a lot of money to repair it press here, tap the home button again, takes me to my spotlight search, home. If I go to device, now I have access to volume up, volume down, shake, mute, lock screen. So I can volume up, volume down, let's say your volume controls weren't working, it's another way to access it easily. I can tap off the screen to make that disappear. I can tap the home, the, the icon, back home, icon, task launcher again, go back to settings, and there you have it. I hope this video is helpful. Um, if you find my videos helpful, please like my videos and subscribe to me. And uh, Thank you for watching.